The signature in your email is really important, um, especially if you're sending out emails to parents. It should include your name, your school, and um, what you teach. When you email parents, they may be receiving emails from several teachers, so it's always nice to have a reminder to them of who you are and why you are sending them an email. Um, I want to show you a feature in the the settings of your your signature. If you come up here to the gear and go to settings, and you're on the general tab, when you scroll down and you have your signature, this box underneath it that says insert this signature before quoted text and replies and remove the line that precedes it. I would go ahead and I'm going to ask that you select that box. Then when you reply to an email, it comes at the end of your reply instead of the end of the message. If you don't check that, then automatically it defaults all the way down to the end of the message. This will have your signature come at the very end of every message you send. Um, while you're in general, it doesn't hurt to come in here and look around and see what is available for you because you can change your page size. Um, you can have conversation view on or conversation view off. And the conversation view, I have actually gotten used to it. I've turned off my conversation view before, and there are so many more emails in my inbox that I actually came and turned it back on. But conversation view is what groups together your, your emails so that it's all as one instead of individuals being sent and received. Um, and then this is also where you can turn your chat on or off and um, enable keyboard shortcuts and this is where you can also add a picture so if you add a picture of course obviously just make sure that it's a nice picture of you or maybe something that has something to do with your school but you can have your picture and see who who sees it and is there anything else also, this is where your vacation responder is. So if you go on spring break or if you're going to be out sick or if you go on maternity leave, it's always a good idea to turn on your vacation responder to let people know that, um, you know, it's not that you're ignoring their emails. These days, people expect a response to email within six hours. It used to be 24 hours, um, but now the standard reply is six hours. So if it's longer than that, they expect that either you are ignoring them or for some reason you can't get to them. So those are a few features in your general tab. Um, the only thing that I'm asking that you do is insert the signature before your quoted text and anything else that you would like to play around with in here um, is, is just a bonus for you.